So hey guys and welcome back to Born Traveller. Right, this video is a comparison between the 4.40 and the 4Class Travel 140 litre. Okay, let's get started. So if you watch my channel before, you know I normally travel with this one. It's the Decathlon 4Class Travel 140 litre. Um, I'm a one bag traveller and always travel with just one bag. And I've been travelling with this bag for around uh, maybe a year now. I've actually already reviewed this bag in a separate video. And if you want to watch that, you can look in the top right hand corner now and see that video. The reason I said that was because of the value. It's a fantastic bag and it only retails for around 35 US dollars. It does vary from country to country, but uh, the average price is around 35 to 45 US dollars. You can buy this bag internationally. It's one of the best travel backpacks and easiest backpacks to get hold of because it's by Decathlon who operate in about 53 countries. And also you can buy it on AliExpress. So pretty much you can get it shipped to around 170 countries in the world for around uh, $80. Having looked at the comments and reviews, I thought it was a little bit unfair to uh, say this is the best backpack and not actually review this one or do a comparison video. So I popped out to go outdoors and I bought this. Now this is a lot more expensive. Um, this is by a company called Osprey and it retails for around £90. So even at the most expensive, this is still a more expensive backpack. So let's have a quick look at the four class and what main features of it are. So obviously it's a 40 litre backpack as you can see. Um, you've got this side pocket here uh, and also a top pocket on the on the top. There is also a water bottle holder here on the side and on the back you have um, hip straps as well as quite well padded um, straps. They're not the widest I've ever seen, the, the Osprey is wider but it does have load lifters as well as a hip belt which is quite well padded. The bag itself can be a clamshell uh, and it opens like a normal suitcase as well as there is a zip here at the top for top loading if you want it to load into a normal backpacking way. There is a shoe compartment here but I've found if you do use this it takes up quite a lot of room and to be honest I found it was better not to use it. As I showed you in the review video this is quite a deep backpack and it is quite deep probably it's a good five or six inches. I would say around maybe 15 to 17 centimeters deep. The top compartment has this main compartment here as well as an inside zip where you could put say uh, anything valuable although it's not lockable so it is something to bear in mind. There's also this area here that could be used as a laptop case however it is not padded so you definitely would have to put some kind of extra padding around your laptop to protect it. One of the positives of that though is it would sit on your back and because the weight is closer to your back it would be a little bit more comfortable to carry. There is also a small zip compartment on the hip belt which is handy for carrying small things like uh, deodorants or uh, sun, sun lotion or maybe your phone. This is the top compartment I mentioned so if you want to uh, load, the, load it like a normal back from, from the top it's quite easy. And then basically this folds over and it clips into the top here and that's how it uh, fastens up. I think the main downside to this particular backpack is there's no uh, zip up that you can zip the straps up so if it does need to go and check in uh, it's all nicely tucked away. A lot of backpacks including the Osprey have this and I think this is the main disadvantage is just a normal backpack. Um, so for something that's supposed to be used as a carry-on it's not very practical really when you're in an airport. All these straps are going to flap, flap back. I did find a bit of a workaround. Basically, you tighten the straps up and tighten these up, and it it does make it a little bit neater. But still, that there are some straps that are going to uh, be bouncing around. Okay, let's move on to the Osprey. Now, the Osprey is very different. I'll put the dimensions on now of how it is. Basically, it's a shorter and wider backpack. So on your back, it sits. It's a lot lower. Um, it's definitely not as high. And it probably when it comes to checking in. Uh, on something like Ryanair or EasyJet, it's probably going to get past security easier than the maybe the four class. So let's go through the main features of this backpack. As you can see, there is two small pockets here for water bottles. There is a small zipped compartment here at the front for just, um, well, it's designed to put sunglasses in or anything small that you need quick access to. I certainly wouldn't re recommend putting anything valuable in this front pocket because there is no lockable, um, there's no, no way to lock it. There is then this main front compartment, which is lockable, uh, and I'll show you that now. Basically, it folds out. The old ones used to be horrible uh, green colour. I don't know why, but they seem to have changed it on the new ones. They seem to have gone for a bit more um, classic kind of grey look, which I think looks great. Um, the old ones were like a lime green. I just thought it looked terrible. So good on Osprey for changing the colours. 
There is a laptop compartment here that is padded and obviously it zips down like that. There is also this kind of mesh front um, zipped area that goes right almost to the end. The laptop compartment is off away from the ground so there is some protection if you drop your bag on the ground it's, your laptop's certainly not going to hit the ground straight away which is really good. The compartment does go to the end as you can see and there is quite a bit of room however if you fill the main compartment up this front compartment does become limited in space and you can't get so much stuff in it. The main compartment is also lockable with these chunky zippers which I really like. These The zips are very very well made and look very strong. And looking by other reviews, uh, the longevity of this bag is really good. As you can see, it's almost the same as the four clads, but there are some major differences. The Osprey is only a clamshell, so it just opens out. There is no way to top load it, which is obviously uh, a little bit annoying. The Osprey also has these travel clips that you can clip around your um, belongings and basically compress them down. So if you've got packing cubes, you can basically fasten these on. And, and, and secure your, your goods, which is really handy. I tend to only use one of these, as I have one big packing cube and that just gets compressed down on this side. The rest of it um, just gets filled up with uh, different stuff. As you can see, like the four clads, it is very deep. I would say it's slightly deeper actually than the four clads. And the main compartment, there is a lot of room in here and you can get a lot of stuff in. There is also a, another mesh zip compartment here, but it's not again very handy to use because anything you put in here, takes away space from either the main compartment or the front compartment. The Osprey has really good handles, uh, really easy to grip and actually to be honest a lot better handles than, than is on the 4 class. Um, really well made and they are both on the top and the side so this can be carried like a duffel bag if needed. So what do I like about the Osprey? Well I've got to say it is very well made, the zips especially are seem higher quality than on the 4 class and it does feel like this backpack would outlast the four class. The bag itself is made of really strong ripstop nylon so if it does get a rip it is going to be very localized and it'll only be a small rip which probably can be repaired. Osprey also offer this almighty guarantee which is basically a lifetime guarantee on the bag so if something does uh, get ripped or damaged um, basically you can send it back to Osprey and they'll either repair it or replace it. The top tip is actually on their website they've started to sell second-hand uh, versions of this they're around 60 to 65 pounds and basically they're like refurbished so maybe the zip broke or something and then they've just sent a new one out to the customer um, and they've started selling them as like second hand or refurbished versions so you can pick this up cheaper if you are willing to buy a refurbished bag when it comes to load capacity i'm still not sure which bag is better for load when i've loaded both backpacks with my stuff I do feel like the four class is just slightly bigger and because it's got those different compartments it's just a little bit easier to load because the way the Osprey is designed everything is, is designed as a wider pack rather than a longer pack that means it depends on what you put into it as to how easy it is to zip up um, if you put very bulky items you really pack this bag out it's very difficult to zip it up whereas the four class it's very easy because you can put bulkier items in the top or side compartments and that makes it a lot easier to zip up. When I first looked at the straps of the Osprey I wasn't really that impressed with them. From the pictures on the internet I'll be honest I did think god they look very thin and not very well but they are quite wide and having worn the backpack I have to say the main difference between this and the four class is comfort. You can put a lot more in this and it's a lot more comfortable. As you can see it's got large hip belts which are very very comfortable and you can strap them up as well as it has an adjustable sternum strap which is really handy this basically slides up and down so very easy to you know uh, be comfortable so basically there's this bottom compartment here that kind of un unzips and then you pull it out and then you can fold away all the straps as you can see I've zipped it up and all the straps are now zipped away nicely and if this was going on check-in it's really easy all the straps are you know are um, folded away and there's no problems so on the front as you can see it's got these two compression straps which are quite handy because when you've loaded the bag you can fasten these up and then basically pull them and that will uh, reduce the amount of width of the backpack so what's the main negatives of this backpack and i think first the biggest one is this it's the laptop compartment it's just in the wrong place it should be on the back it shouldn't be on the front like this there should be a little compartment here where you can zip your uh, zip open and put your laptop in 
the Porter series on the Ospreys, they have this. Um, they don't have it on the front, like the like the far point. So I think that's the main negative. And what that does is, if it's on the front, not only um, can it bend your laptop, it can also um, it's away from your back. So the so the weight is going to feel weird on your back, possibly if it's loaded wrong. The other main one is these water bottle holders. They're very short and they're in the wrong place. If this backpack is full, you can't get any big bottles in there. I have found a workaway around this. Basically, what you've got to do is you've got to kind of load one side up with your stuff. If you're going to use the front compartment, load this side up and leave this space here free for your water bottle. It's the only way it works, which is not ideal. So as you can see, they're both great backpacks. Uh, there are some positives and negatives that I've been through. Um, this one is great value for a budget backpack. I would recommend the four clouds, but if you want something high quality that is really, really good, definitely go with the Osprey. Um, it is hard to choose between them. It just really depends on your budget. So that's it for this video. That was my review between the Osprey and the four clouds. I hope you enjoyed it guys. If you've got any questions about these backpacks, please leave a comment in the section below and I'll try and answer them as best I can. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification button, and I will see you next time.